Hey, Scott Lara, Scott Lara 1961 on Twitter, Scott Lara 1961 on Instagram, thecruisegenius.com, Colonial Villa 21. Yes, I'm back at Grand Palladium Riviera Maya. And for those that are not familiar with Riviera Maya, there's actually four resorts. You got TRS Yucatan, which is the adults only resort. You have Kentana, which is being turned into, being transformed into, if you will, family selection. And if you've been to TRS Coral, Grand Palladium, Costa Mahas, they have a family selection that's run up there by uh, Javier. Ama Javier is just an amazing guy. And of course, I've been to Grand Palladium, Puerta Vallarta family. I actually stay in the family selection there. You can look at my YouTube video on that. Scarling uh, was running it when I was there. And so just family selection is that step up. Family boss makes the kids feel real special. Yeah, it's a premium price for a premium experience. And again, excuse the head cold. I'm getting over it. I'm on the tail end of it. But... Uh, I love get well, I love getting up early. Who wants to sleep their vacation away, right? And of course, I'm really not on vacation. I'm bringing this to my audience. And so, you know, all these different paths that you can walk down. It's really very romantic, really nice. So, here we are, if you ever get lost, which you will. You got uh, Zentropia there to the right. Give you an idea where you're going. Let's take a walk this way, huh? Down a path. Of course, now here you got White Sand. Now, White Sand 58 and 59. I've stayed in White Sand before, too. I love White Sand, actually. I stayed in a... Uh, I don't know if you want to use governor's suite, whatever term they use. You had a, I had a bedroom and like a living room, which was kind of nice. I think it was 56 and 57. I'd have to look at my videos to see what uh, room I was in. Rooms. I've stayed in Colonial before. I've stayed in White Sand before. I've stayed at Terry Shukatan before. You know, and the number one question I get, well, let me rephrase that. Um, the number one question I've gotten for this trip is to walk down and see what the deal is with um, what's going on down by Kentonall. Let me just put it that way. So, you know my saying. It's actually from my DJ days before I joined the United States Navy. You say it. I play it. Now, I will caution you that... There's a little bit of beach erosion. Yesterday, the sargasm really wasn't that bad. But I will tell you, there's like two or three tractors out here. There were uh, guys raking, really going the extra mile to uh, make the beach look good. <clears throat> I'm good. La dee dee da dee da dee da dee dee da dee da da dee dee da dee da. Oh, I uh, went to this uh, place last night. Um, it was in the Chic area, but it's called um, Bingo, and that was pretty cool. Uh, my friend Ricardo and the people there. I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, so some people sitting here, so I'm gonna avoid this. How y'all doing today? So, let's take a walk. So, you see what I mean about the beach erosion, right? Look at this. Let's take a walk. <clears throat> yeah, maybe this is just allergies. I don't know. Maybe once I have some coffee, I'll... My head will be a little clearer. I slept fine last night.
shooting on my iPhone 11 Pro Max 256, which is a gift from my sister several years ago. You know, I was having some uh, battery issues. I was like below 80% battery health. And so before I left Jacksonville, got a new battery. You know, people ask me all the time, Scott, I say, yeah, what? What's your favorite Palladium Resort? You've been to them all. You've been to TRS Yucatan, TRS Turquesa, TRS Capcana, TRS Yucatan, TRS Coral, Grand Palladium Riviera Maya, Grand Palladium Cosmojeras, Puerta Vallarta. You've been to all of them, what's your favorite? My favorite is the one that I'm at that day. But I will say, Riviera Maya has a very special place in my heart. Or as South African people say, hot. I know somebody from South Africa who says hot. And, um, Grand Palladium Riviera Maya, T.R. Shukatan have a special place in my heart. Because it's the first Palladium Resort I visited. My friend Connie introduced me to it. And, uh, you know, my website is thecruisegenius.com. I love cruising, always will, because I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. But, when you look at the all-inclusive experience, right? You have plenty of social distancing. Variety of restaurants, you have buffets, you have entertainment. You have amazing swimming pools. Uh, kids events. The people of Palladium, now here's where I am right now. Now this is the area I call the refrigerator, so this is the uh, Travel Club Beach area. Scott, why do you call it the refrigerator? Well, if you've watched any of my videos, I call it the refrigerator because the ice cold air. And one of the people I love the most at this resort is Ernesto, who works in the refrigerator serving ice cold beverages. He's at the, um, members party in Jamaica but Victor's here and I had a nice time talking to Victor but anyway this is the uh, members beach area you know and I, I've go, I'll go back again to say travel club, travel club, travel club why the travel club? well let me re rephrase it before I rephrase it let's go over here Now it's like six in the morning here, so. So there's the refrigerator right there. And you got the bathrooms right there. Again, I gotta give a shout out to the Palladium Hotel Group. Very conscious of the environment. And they get multiple awards yearly. They, you know, doing organic, plastics, glasses paper cardboard miscellaneous so very aware of the environment okay so here we are yeah so we're gonna walk down here I'm really glad I'm shooting this video this morning. Oh, I will say, the carts are really running great. There are, people would say, oh, the carts, the carts, the carts. Well, as my friend Pat Lippy says, uh, you know, and it's true, you got the travel club carts, and people who are not travel club will be like, hey, you drove by me, good morning. Um, and, but if it's travel club, that's why those people are paying a few pennies more uh, to have a, a special experience. But there are lots of regular cards too where people are gonna be able to get a ride from, from here to there, so. Let's walk down this way and I'm gonna answer that question that people are asking about a little volleyball you know my friends Rocky and uh, Marla talk about them a lot 
on my videos, they're not sedentary. They want to be up, they want to be doing, they want to be going. A lot of people are sedentary. They want to sit, sit, and sit. And I've learned not to do that. I'm 61, and I'm not just going to sit because uh, it's not good. Now, why am I saying that? Because, because of Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, they don't have carts. So you've got to, if you're mobility limited, then Puerto Vallarta may not be the best choice for you. Cane, crutch, wheelchair, disabled, whatever. And again, it's all about setting proper expectations, right? I would not be doing my audience justice. I didn't tell him what's going on. All right. So here we are. You know where I am. Let's see where what's going on. So here's 1957 Ford truck. They're loading up the sargasm. here where we are there's that stage right by the kids pool area right let's get in here because a lot of my audience who are frequent visitors to Riviera Maya had, and I, I did I did say to them hey let me know what your requests are And they were asking about Kentonaw being transformed into family selection. Now, from what I understand, it won't be finished until December. I'm trying to get a behind-the-scenes thing, but I'm sure it's hard hat and all that kind of stuff. They've got a lot of stuff around it we can't see. We get, listen, I, I just got to tell you, let's do this. Let's reset here. There's still, you know, you know this, right? There's a lot of beach here, okay? So when I talk about beach erosion, what I'm talking about, it. now maybe it's a high tide, okay? You know, maybe I'm off base here, maybe this is high tide. But I mean, if you're down here, excuse the wind. All right, so let's come down here. Let's see what's going on down here. Now, this is June 16th, 2023. Now, coming down here is the residence. liking this video or you like my videos or you're a fan you're a fan please like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my videos now why do people say that why do blippy and mr beast and all those people say that because it really helps with their metrics with our metrics in youtube because when people like and subscribe and they click that notification button youtubers like myself get better um, metrics. All right, so, hold on a second. Here, no, no, listen, let me stop here and I'm gonna reset. <clears throat> You've seen how far I've walked down, right? Now this is what's saying exclusive beach area, which was further down that way. So this is the exclusive beach area for Travel Club and TRS. And I forget which friend of mine it was, but he had said that he had booked the residence for about this time of the year, I think, and, and whoever that friend is, let me know. But the residence is Sarado. So you see there's the, the very famous residence. That's closed, it's all boarded up. Okay, so now, for those of you who have been here before, now you know what's going on. Here's this. So, see, now here's this. So let's go this way. Now, you know if you've been here before, down this way is where the beach 
club was. And that's one of my favorite ones. I remember one time I was here and I fell asleep on one of these Bali beds for an afternoon down there. And that was where Fernanda used to work, Fernanda. Very sweet, sweet lady. <laughs> I looked at her name tag and said, Fernandina? She goes, no, Senor Laura, Fernanda. All right, so here's the, um, This is where they're building the new family selection. Oh boy, I wish I could sneak, uh, sneak behind there. I don't think I could sneak behind there. Yeah, they, they got it built up there too where I couldn't even sneak behind there to look. The steps I'm willing to take for my audience. All right, let's stop, stop here, Scott. Okay, so behind that, they're building. Come down here. So, there's still a lot of chairs. Oh, let's talk about deck chair hogs. And this is, we call them deck chair hogs on cruises where people get up early in the morning and it's usually the wife, Caitlin, jabbing her husband Tom in the ribs Tom yes Caitlin I love you Caitlin uh, would you like some coffee this morning Caitlin and a, a, a warmed up bagel with light cream cheese uh, Caitlin no Tom I want you to get your butt down there and throw a couple books and a couple hats and a couple towels right there on my prime deck chairs at 6 in the morning so that when uh, we have a slow cup of coffee, we're on Facebook for two hours, another slow cup of coffee, ponder the day, we can come down at our leisure and have our prime chairs. And for years it's been a offense on cruises. And the fact of the matter is on cruises, there are far fewer deck chairs or beach chairs than there are at resorts. There's a lot of, is there a lot? I mean, there are more chairs at resorts than on cruises, okay? But over the years, people have been mentioning that people at resorts are saving chairs to use later on in the day. And there's, there's a lot of controversy about it. Some people, uh, let's part about being married right guys your wife wants you to do something you're gonna jump and uh, I get it all right so I'm walking down here you see how far I'm walking now see a year or two years ago whatever a year ago let's say that before they there are the flags uh, this is where the TRS beach area was which I loved and then what was it La Jara or something there was a bar down here with Fernanda so this is all boarded up hey if I dug a hole under there I could crawl under there and look huh hey I could stick my camera under there I, I'd stick my camera under there and I'd lose my camera that's what would happen see I could stick my camera under there and get a I would be in so much trouble with palladium I'd be banned for life if I did that so here I am down at the end of Kentonaw, the, the fence area. I mean, the fence area. This brush, this flora, this fauna area. So you see where I am. <clears throat> there I am, see? Oh, now look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me lean against this tree here so I have some balance. Okay, this is the barrier. This uh, netting, if you will. See the netting right there? And that netting uh, with the orange balls there are there <laughs> to try, hold, try to hold Mother Nature back. And if you've seen the reports in the U.S., just miles of sargasm slash seaweed coming toward the U.S. Now again, it's June 16, and here you go. I mean, there's, and it's not that bad. I mean, but
But again, you know, it may be high tide. All right, so let's reset our bearings here. So I'm all the way down here at Kentnaw. Well, I would love, I just got to ask my friends if I could look behind the, behind there. But I'm sure it's just construction is what's going on. So there you go. That's the answer to your question. Questions about what's going on here. I'm only here for a couple more days. Quick uh, trip. I left. Well, actually, I left Orlando Thursday morning. Got a 7 a.m. flight. Listen, I'm going to give you my best tip. MCO Reserve. Just Google it. If you're flying out of Orlando, that MCO Reserve. Uh, three days, three no chase. If you look uh, that up, um, they had talked about that. That's how I think I found out about it. But um, yeah, three days, three no chase. So that's a, um, a website, and they're also on Facebook and YouTube. Great tips, great tips. But what I'm saying is, is that MCO Reserve can pick the time to go through TSA security at the Orlando airport at no charge. Now, if you've flown out of Orlando, you know the lines could be a mile long. And my flight was like 7 a.m. on Thursday to come nonstop to Cancun on Frontier. Frontier did great. A really very nice people on Frontier. So um, I went through this, you go online, you pick the time, and it gives you a 20 minute window. And I, I picked the earliest time because my flight was like 7 a.m. So I picked five and it worked out perfectly. Got to listen and shout out to Wally Park in Orlando. Promotional consideration by Wally Park. Exclusive parking partner of the cruisegenius.com. And so. car at Wally Park, quick shuttle over eh, 10, 7 minutes, 10 minutes to the airport though. Oh, and the guy drove like Mario Andretti. The, uh, he was an amazing driver. He got us there. I tell you. I'm traveling solo here. Uh, there's some of my uh, friends that are here, but on the vehicle, it was myself and like people going to other airlines. But just funny, this guy, I, I, I gave him a $5 bill. I said, it might have been a 10, I forget. And I, I said, man, you're the best shuttle driver I've ever had. I mean, he would safely got us there. But man alive. Anyway, it was great. So went through this MCO reserve. And the line was a mile long at the, the regular TSA. TSA pre-check, there was a line. At the clear place, there was a line. But at MCO Reserve, and I showed my QR code, right up, I mean, boom, I was right there, showing my passport and my, tic, uh, my uh, ticket, let's say that, to the person. And then I went right through security, I'm like, geez, Louise, this is great. MCO Reserve. And I will tell you of all the advice I've given my audience, that is the, the best advice I think I've ever given. Because, if you know, if you're like me traveling, man, it, it's stressful. Uh, my very, 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 very close friend who I love, great guy by the name of Rocky. Uh, he gets stressed out about traveling and because there's a lot going on. You got kids, you got a baby, you got a stroller and it's it's tough and I get that. But I'm, I'm that same way. I'm the same way where I get stressed out when I travel. I just want to get to where I want to get to and then I can shut down. But navigating through the airport and navigating through security is stressful for me. And so that MCO Reserve, and it's free. 
I love free. And it's uh, MCO Reserve. Google it if you fly out of Orlando. Scott, is it, is it in other airports too? I don't think so. I know. But it's powered by Clear. So you can Google that and see if they've got Clear Reserve things at other airports. Okay, I'm going to take us out over here. <coughs> Excuse the cough. I hope this video has been helpful to you. For those of you who've been here to Revere Maya before, I love Revere Maya. Everyone here. I mean, I could go through the list of names and I'm going to forget somebody. Uh, I mean, Pedro up at Terras Coral, Ernesto here. Just so many. And I've said this a thousand times on my videos. You have the buildings, you have the beds, you have the rooms, you have the entertainment, you have the food. It's the people. It is the people here that really make coming back to Riviera Maya or Costa Mujeres or Puerto Vallarta. It just makes it great. They have a tagline that says for, for the travel club, from guest to family. And that perfectly summarizes what people Palladium and the Palladium Hotel Group do and I just have to give credit to you know the managers of all the resorts who I know all of them it's it's their leadership from the very top that look at these little chairs here for look at the little chairs for the children oh so what I'm saying is is that uh, it comes from the top down and you know, even since I've been back here, and I was here, I think, two years ago. I walked, Mr. Scott, and it's just great to be back. People are so kind. Now, here's the children's area, which is really cool. And, you know, my grandsons, Reed and Cole, they're five and three. They would love this. My friend Dwight's son, Atlas, who's like five slash six, was playing over here. My friend Rocky's kids, you know, nine. Uh, loves it. This area got the colonial pool here. You know, the people of Palladium always over here uh, getting people out of their chairs not to be sedentary. Uh, they have like aquatic games over here. But look at this, okay? It's Friday. It's Friday. And let's see if there are any deck chair hogs. Now, you know, Caitlin... Would pro oh, is that a towel over there? Oh, no. An offender. All right, but look. No deck chair hogs. But I don't think that was intentional. I think somebody just left their towel there. I don't, I don't sense that in my spirit. That it's, a, it's a deck chair hog. But it's a Friday in June. And there aren't deck chair hogs here at the Colonial Pool. Good morning, how are you? Doing great, my friend. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Oh, Mexico, oh. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so you just each one, uh, one change in weather. No changes in weather, my friend. <laughs> True. Now, here are some reserved areas. I guess these are like Palladium Master Experience or something where you can pay extra to have these chairs. And then, listen, that's cool. They're monetizing this, which is fine. And uh, Scott, don't fall in the pool. So, Palladium Premium Experience, they have these. A very wise move to do this. The uh, resort can make a couple extra pennies renting out these premium areas, which is smart. I applaud that. So here we are, Friday, like 6.30 a.m., no deck chair hogs, peaceful, quiet. I'm not certain what their occupancy is right now here, but neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. Uh, all I can say is I love the Palladium Hotel Group. They do an amazing job. Scott, stop. They do an amazing job of providing memorable vacation experiences. 
to people. And this is probably my sixth time here. Careful, Scott. Don't drop the phone in the water. I'm going to take us out right here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.